Hello. Hello. Welcome to La Ruta del Geek in English. We are Jorge and Alicia. And today we're going to talk about the newest, latest release. After almost two years, finally we're able to see a Marvel Studios movie, Black Widow, with Scarlett Johansson, Rachel Weisz, Florence Pugh. Ali, what do you think about the movie? Okay, I think the movie was a lot of fun. It had a lot of action and it gave us more insight into Natasha's character. Yeah, uh, I like the movie, I like the fight, uh, the choreography and the, all the set pieces, both the practical fights and the CGI uh, spectacles that Marvel uh, is known to do. However, the real bad thing that happens with the movie is the order where it was released. If this movie was released right after Civil War, before Black Panther, it could have been better chronologically it, it, it would have been more relevant the biggest exactly. issue that the movie is facing is that it's not as relevant because natasha died mm -hmm. we, we saw her die two years ago in well, what the movie in, during the movie correct. what the movie Endgame, does so. what the movie does is that it finally allows to see why natasha behaves the way she does in infinity war and in avengers endgame which is totally different from the way that she behaved in the previous movies. In fact, one complaint that I always had with her character is that uh, uh, through all her appearances, her personality and character are never consistent. Sometimes she's too cynic, sometimes she's just too sweet, sometimes she wants to be she, the same. She goes through a transformation because when we met her first, and the first time she was shown in Iron Man, Iron Man 2, 2, she was a shield agent and mm -hmm. she was right on the mission and she was focused on doing everything Nick Fury ordered her to but during the time first of all she was infiltrated by Hydra and she fell during Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier so she was left like a free agent mm -hmm. she had no job to say something Correct. so she had to find herself and what she did was she defined herself as an Avenger, mm -hmm. and she was no longer doing things because she was ordered to, she was mm -hmm. doing things because she believed she could do something to save the world, mm -hmm. to be better, to be an Avenger. C correct. Um, well, this movie uh, starts, first of all, with a very extensive, uh, first of all, this movie does what Marvel Studios has done in a long time, which is opening with opening credits, mm -hmm. to, uh, and they do it because they want to show us a lot of the flashback about and Nat, Nat's past and the way she was treated during the whole time that she is spending the Red Room program and after and that, before because the movie starts with the background that she had a family of sorts and uh, she was part of a spy Russian mission in the US with a mission to get some intel um, mental mind control information so these Russian agents to infiltrate the US inconspicuously what they did was they went with two girls as their daughters, mm -hmm. Natasha as the older daughter, and Yelena as six-year-old as the baby daughter. Mm -hmm. So, um, time passes, we are right in 2016 or 2017, Natasha is still a fugitive, not only from Civil War, but also by ex for exposing the S.H.I.E.L.D. secrets on the end of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. General Ross is after her. We see a very old and very uh, ill version of you know, Tired, Ross, tired. Three he, after three bypasses and a cane. Heroes, he's walking with a cane he's walking with a cane now and looks really sick so maybe that's a foreshadowing of what of the actions that he will take to turn him into red hole trying probably. gamma rays on himself and becoming the red probably Hulk. because we don't know what a kind of whole universal has over the whole characters so but maybe can show in other pictures of other heroes and characters what they've been doing what they've been doing with hulk or maybe he can appear in the she hulk uh, tv show yeah so anyways going back to black widow so basically she's been spending her time low keeping a low profile because of the Avengers got divorced at the end of the Civil War. During that time, uh, Natasha is actually spending some time with uh, Rick Mason, a character that is, uh, that she mostly, she uses her for obtaining things that she needs to infiltrate in other countries to escape. Uh, the only thing is that this, is, Rick Mason is not a bad character, but the thing is that he is so generic 
Okay. That they barely say his name. I actually, I ha actually, I had to go to Wikipedia to, to know that his name is Rick Mason, which is actually the name of one of the versions of the Tinkerer, which is a Spider-Man villain. The real Tinkerer is uh, Vulture's assistant in okay. Spider-Man: Homecoming. So going back to the movie, Jel uh, Natasha has a, a package. She gets a package from Yelena. She hasn't heard from Yelena since they were kids. And the package is this vials for something that she doesn't really know. So, so she goes to look Jelena up to see, hey, why did you send me this? What is this? And that's when she finds two things out. First of all, that the Red Room was still working, so mm -hmm. Jelena wasn't free. She was trained to become a Black Widow, so as she was. Mm -hmm. uh, because actually, when Natasha left, she thought she had killed Dracoff, the man in charge of the Red Room mm -hmm. and had killed his daughter, his six-year-old daughter, as collateral damage. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, she discovers that she didn't destroy the Red Room at all. And she also discovers another thing, that for Yelena, it all was real. For Yelena, Natasha is actually her older sister. sister. That's her family. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that the movie does here is that when uh, Natasha, uh, well, the uh, all, all this happens because of the vials that Yelena finds and sends to Natasha. These are the things that can actually break the mind control of the red room. So the, when they open, they look like this red mess that looks yeah. a lot like the red gas, the devil's breath from the Spider-Man PS4 video game. Also, this is the moment when the Dracoff sends the Taskmaster to uh, to chase Natasha to get the vials. Taskmaster is from the comics. He's actually uh, um, has the, a super assassin that has the ability to copy the abilities from other characters. He gets muscle memory from every enemy he fights against. For example, if he fights against Captain America, he can do what Captain America does. Exactly. That's how he worked in the comics. In the case of the Black Widow movie, what Taskmaster does is she watches television and, and then she's like, the, like Neo in the Matrix like, I know how to fight like Captain America. I know I how to fight like the Winter Soldier because actually everything the Avengers were doing was it's on tape, yeah. it's on line, so anyone can see it. Yeah, and if she it, sees it, she knows it. Imagine if she could talk in the movie and she saw Shang-Chi and they point it and put her that chip, she says, I know Shang-Chi instead <laughs> of I know Kung Fu. I know Shang-Chi. <laughs> so anyways, so Taskmaster appears, he even can cope well. He Okay, first of all, spoilers territory, we, we didn't mention it, but spoilers. So, she, uh, he, she, finds... It's, it's actually it's, a she, it's, it's a girl she. in this movie. But they, they use, during the whole movie, they use a, a male a stuntman to make the fight. So it's really... Because those... they're trying to fool the audience <laughs> the, to make us think that it's, it is a man, but there's a tell early in the movie because you see it's a part of, of the, the red room. room the red and the red room only room uses not, women. It only uses women, exactly. <laughs> the only guy they used was the Red Guardian and they sent him to jail because he wasn't really that effective. He was the first Russian super soldier and he wasn't that good at all. Yeah, and this female, they can... This female, the spies can infiltrate everybody, any place, so yeah, why use a guy with a red suit and a shield when I could just use And tunnels? even um, the mission, as we mentioned, the mission that the fake parents of Natasha were doing is that they wanted to take some information from the US on how to control people, mm -hmm. and what they do is that now the Black Widows from the Red Room are like Winter Soldiers, they are mm -hmm. totally controlled, brainwashed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they are controlled through a computer system. They are like robots, and these robots can even be out of self-destroyed, tell mm -hmm. to self-destroy, and they die. And the thing is that the gas that Jelena stole is the one that can free them. And Natasha then decides that the best thing they can do is to take down the Red Room forever and free these girls around the world. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they go rescue the Red Guardian, giving mm -hmm. us one of the funniest <laughs> action scenes and makes us wonder if it is a crossover with Stranger Things because <laughs> it's the same actor. It's the same actor, David Harbour. It's David Harbour and he's in the same place that we left in, <laughs> in, uh, Stranger, in Stranger Things, <laughs> in a prison in the middle of nowhere in the Russian tundra. Um, then when they rescue him, they rescue him with one sole purpose, and that is, do you know where the Red Room is? And he's like, no, I don't know, but maybe your mother does. So they go find Jelena. the fox mother that Melina. they had, Melina, which was a scientist, and she's actually practicing how to control pigs now. 
and then when they talk to her she does know where the red room is because she never stopped working for, okay. for it but not because she wanted to she's also trapped as natasha and yelena mm -hmm. she's a black widow and she has no option mm -hmm. but what she does is she gives them um like behind the scenes she gave them this plan that they can work together in order to finally bring down the red room correct so uh one thing that marvel okay here's the thing black widow is not exactly the best marvel studios movie it's not the worst however it does amazing things like the fight choreography the practical fights as we mentioned however there are some things that are already part of the formula and one of the things that the movie does for good or bad one of the things that the movie does is that as many modern movies use is that they actually put, uh, they, they show the scene of one of the characters watching an old movie that inspired this movie as a foreshadowing of what we're gonna say. So literally there's a scene of Natasha watching Moon, James Bond's Moonraker in which there is a battle in a flying, uh, in a flying station, a flying and base. That's and that's really what happens the red because room. the Red Room, the, the reason that they thought it was destroyed and they hadn't been able to find it. It's because mm -hmm. it's this Laputa castle in the sky thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing that we wonder is how it managed to keep itself hidden from Nick Fury and Chill. Well, but we think it was because Hydra, Hydra was infiltrated. So maybe Hydra was covering Correct, it and we, working together with Dracov. Correct. We don't know how long Hydra was infiltrating Shield. According Since to, the beginnings, according to Armin Sola, it was Armin always Sol Hydra. It was always Hydra. And um, Black Widow, well, Natasha's uh, was this, the last year that Natasha stayed. With, there were three years Natasha stayed with that, that family in Ohio until 1995. So all that was Hydra. So that's why a Drake -off was allowed to keep the Red Room. No, but I'm get, I, I was mostly wondering not about that Red Room that Natasha thought that she was she had destroyed, that but red the room. Red Room in the sky. Yeah, correct. That Red Room. That Red Room. Ah, <laughs> the thing is that. They go and they fight there, but they have so many traps against them. Like, for example, Dracov uses pheromones so they cannot hurt him. He cannot be directly hurt or hit or anything or even gunfire by any of his Black Widows. Uh, the thing is that Natasha's adoptive mother gave, a, gave her the trick that if she destroyed the nerves from her nose she could so she breaks her nose in order to defeat him before she defeats him he commit the mistake of actually telling her how he controls the black widow so she also destroys the whole thing so that he cannot go back in case he survives but strangely enough before everything is destroyed and before the gas is completely released uh, freeing Yelena as well. Yelena is able to destroy the helicopter he was going on. Mm -hmm. So they destroy the Red Room completely and all the Black Widows are free. In the case of Taskmaster, Taskmaster, the saddest part of it all is that she was Dracov's daughter, the mm -hmm. six-year-old girl that Natasha thought she had killed, that Loki was pushing her with that information during mm -hmm. Avengers. The thing is that she got hurt, she got burned, her father Turned her into a black widow, tortured her, controlled her, did everything that was done to the black widows. Like he, she was sterilized, it, she was programmed, she couldn't think, she couldn't talk for herself. She was just a machine for killing. Mm -hmm. So even when Natasha fought her, her whole intention was actually to free mm -hmm. her. Uh, one thing that you mentioned while we were talking uh, during the movie is that it reminded you a lot of William Stryker in X Men Two. Yeah, how he it, managed his son. Exactly the, way, exactly, the way that he uses his son as a weapon. In fact, it makes me think that Dracov and William Stryker are very similar in which that they are they may not be the flashiest or most super powerful villains in the in the in the respective movies, but they're certainly the more the, the most the, the cruelest villains. The cruelest ones. Correct. They are the ones who had that even though they they used the they had several methodologies or there's a, a different objective at least in the uh, striker says to himself that he wants to save humankind from mutants while Drake of he just wants money because he has the he best. just wants money yeah. and he just wants to he's the man behind the curtain he controls the world that's what he wants okay and finally um natasha during the fight she manages to free to finally free the taskmaster 
And when she frees her, her only question is, is my father gone? Like, mm -hmm. am I finally free? Mm -hmm. And yes, in the end of the movie, all the Black Widows, including Taskmasters, are free, mm -hmm. and they're given the choice to go on with her life, mm -hmm. with their lives. Uh, one detail is the machine that controls them is off, but for example, the ones that were on mission, I'm guessing that their mission is going to be going around the world, recruiting the other, taking back the other Black Widows and giving them the gas and freeing them. Something like, it would be like when Buffy started cut, uh, looking for the other Slayers. Mm -hmm. It would be something like that Buffy, at the end of Buffy. So they're going to have to go the Black Widows. Their mission will be to find the other Black Widows that are not free yet and mm -hmm. free them. Right. And they're going with Yelena. They're going with Natasha's adoptive parents. And Natasha stayed to be captured by General mm -hmm. Ross. Uh, because now her mission at the end of the movie is to get the Avengers back together because they might be needed, right. which we know that's, they were. That's the thing. Similar to a Born Identity movie, this movie it actually takes place during the final scenes of Civil War, so there's a big gap of time that happened in between the last two or three scenes of uh, Captain America Civil Wars with each when this movie happens. Uh, this movie, the, the, the bad, uh, as we mentioned before, the only thing that affects the movie is the order where it was released. If it had been released at that time after Civil War, before Black Panther, their actions will, the, the movie will make more sense or maybe more relevant, or you could even be had more investment in the fight scenes and the action scenes. And but, also the things that make you not be as interested is because the stakes are not there because you know she doesn't die there. Okay. But the action scenes are pretty well. And actually, I believe this movie is like the MCU's answer to Fast and Furious because yeah, the movie is family. about family and family. there's a lot of mention of family. The family you find, the family you made is a really relevant topic around the whole mm -hmm. movie. Another interesting detail is that around the movie, Natasha, other member of her family is this guy that is like her vendor. The guy that gets her the yeah, helicopter, Rick the Mason, weapons, the, the, why that, the, the guy, Rick Mason, the guy you the, were mentioning. Okay, in this case, he was played by the same actor that plays Alfred, actually June's real husband in The Handmaid's Tale, doing pretty much a similar job in the in the case that he's not the hero. The hero are the women of the story. Mm -hmm. And um, also another interesting detail is that in the end, he manages to get her a queen jet. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the jet she uses to help Captain America free the other mm -hmm. Avengers from jail when they were in the raft. And then in the end of the movie, we get one post credit scene. In this one post credit scene, we finally get to see Natasha's grave. Mm -hmm. Her grave is it's allegedly true. where she is in Ohio, where she spent the three years with the original family. family she had even though it was alive but they did love each other and we get to see her tombstone that mm -hmm. not only says avenger but also says sister, sister and daughter. daughter and the other thing is that in this scene we get to see once again the contessa countess yeah, valentina yeah. Again. valentina again and she recruits uh, jelena actually jelena is hawkeye. already working for her but she arrives to give her the mission to kill hawkeye, hawkeye and giving her the motivation that, according to her, Hawkeye was responsible for Natasha's death. How it does makes she us, know? makes us wonder how does she what, know? What, what, because no make... one was there. I what, mean, they what, were what, in what a planet you... in the middle of nowhere. When Is the Red Skull coming back? Is the Red Skull coming back? Or what exactly was disclosed by Steve Rogers to the government of what happened in the battle against Thanos and how they were able to bring all the people back? What exactly is public what exactly the governments know a lot is not public because for example people in falcon and the winter soldier thought that captain america was like in the moon or like what, he went dr manhattan and us but what about uh, oh, but what about that that is what the public knows what is what that is what what, what that is and what, what you knows. want to know is what the government knows exactly but because the, valentina is inside playing she's on, an insider playing Play her both own agenda. Sides. she's <laughs> part of it she's playing her own agenda she's playing both sides and uh, what sides. we're kissing is she is Forming the Thunderbolts together or with the Dark General Avengers. or the Dark Avengers together with General Ross, and that's the thing that's most likely going to fight the Joan Avengers. The other thing that we've seen getting formed through all the series, we have already seen many of the members. 
like mm. we can and speed and we are soon to see Hawkeye in, in November and we also saw Patriot on Falcon and Falcon Winter Soldier. Okay, so uh, well, as we mentioned, it's it's a really good it, it's a good movie. We enjoy it a lot. It's not the best Marvel movie, certainly. It's better than Captain Marvel, and I it's believe it's better than Captain Marvel, and it's better than Thor: The Dark World. But yeah. anything is better than Thor: The Dark World. Anything is better than those two. So uh, it's a good movie. Please, uh, if you if you like, please subscribe. Please We're going like, to subscribe try to start and give of, us a comment. Uploading more videos in English. Uh, we are giving this movie, in my case, I'm giving it 3.5 BBH, that's our <laughs> measure standard because it's the name of our dog. Mm -hmm. Correct, that's the name of our dog, he's a sleeping bag down mm -hmm. there. So yes, I'm, I'm, I dare to give it the 3.9, almost a 4, because I did enjoy it a lot. I don't think it was a bad movie, and I think that it would have been premiered when it, when it should have been. It would it have, been have better. done so it much better. Been better. And, well, and, and the other thing, one last thing is, Please, 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 do not judge the movie because they changed the characters like the Taskmaster. Don't judge the movie based on that because the reason they did these changes is because they affect the narrative of the movie. Not remember, this is the MCU. This is different than the these comics. These are not the comics. These this are is not the, the MCU. Comics. This is something else. And hopefully, maybe they will they will pull a Mandarin and show the real Taskmaster eight years from now or something like that. So, with that being <laughs> said, you. thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.